So I'm just going over uh, some numbers. My new thing is I've been uh, short buying into um, 2-5. So I buy in for 200 on a 2-5 game. They got like 7 to 10 games pretty much every night. And uh, there's a lot of selection, table selection, and uh, there's a lot of bad players. Um, and this is the preflop calling range that I waited for uh, sevens and better and ace nine and better up to aces. Um, so I weighted the lower pocket pairs, the lowest weight. I mean, somebody might go maniac and call me with twos when I go on for 200, but pretty much in general, this is just a, a good guide to having an idea of, um, my hands, uh, equity versus this, these range, which is all the possible combinations of each, um, of the hands. And <clears throat> I really have been just kind of trying to understand jacks versus queens versus ace-king and figuring out where to put ace-king, where to put queens and jacks. I kind of have an idea of queens and jacks, but now I have a really specific understanding of ace-king and where it falls in that, in that uh, uh, range. So against pocket queens against the calling range of my opponents. My hand equity is uh, 63%. Pocket 10 or pocket jacks. My hand's equity is 55%. So it uh, drops like 8%. So 55% for pocket jacks. 63% for pocket queens and ace king 60%. So ace king is in between uh jacks and queens. And that's important to know because usually when I'm at a table and I'm thinking about um, whether or not to go all in, and I feel like I don't think anybody has a better hand when I have jacks. I'm getting it in, but on a long timeline, how should I think about ace-king? And I should think about ace-king as being a better hand to go all in with than pocket jacks. But I should think about um, Pocket Queens is being a better hand to go all in with than Ace King. So it's Jacks, Ace King, Queens. It's fascinating data, but the reason, even though clearly Jacks and Queens are both better than Ace King, that's not what we're looking at. We're thinking about uh, based on this range, on this calling range of my opponents, um, how I would fare. Now, Kings and Aces and Ace. Our kings and aces are a, a dead, dead giveaway that they are get them in every time. The chances of getting in it with kings and running into aces or somebody with an ace who beats you is so small that you know kings are just absolutely monstrous. They're the second best to aces, but the way you should weight your hands when you're getting it in pre flop with a short stack against. A game um, you really want to put jacks below ace king so ace king has a more equity than jacks and that's pretty much it